The impotence is the inability to obtain or to keep an erection enough to uh, achieve uh, satisfactory sexual activity, uh, and it has multiple causes. Uh, but you know, some people might have uh, sporadically an episode that the erection is not the quality that they would like, and if that next erection is adequate, you know, it shouldn't be a big deal. If this is persistent, that might indicate the presence or the uh, or potential problems. Uh, but a lot of uh, a lot of common conditions could cause uh, erectile issues, and uh, what is important to understand is that the erection and the intimacy is is very complicated. Why? Because it has first the mood, uh, everything needs to be right. Second, you ha need to have nerve, muscles, blood vessels, m musculature, muscles. A lot of the orchestra, all, all the members of the orchestra have to be playing and harmoniously. And everything could be affected for diff through different uh, instances, situations, conditions, diseases. So it is important that ED, if it's persistent, has to be uh, evaluated because it could precede multiple uh, things uh, for the future. Like what, uh, uh, some studies have shown that erectile dysfunction could precede three to five years from a heart attack, a myocardial infarction. Really? So it okay. is important to look into the whole thing. Talk to your doctor. I know sometimes it could be a little hard to do, but uh, the doc your doctor will understand and will pay attention to the details that are very important to look into it. Diabetes, for example, hypertension, uh, coronary artery disease, uh, obesity, radiation, multiple surgeries for the prostate, bladder, um, some medications, uh, diet, smoking, significant alcohol consumption, a lot of things could cause erectile dysfunction. So it's important first, speak, speak up, tell somebody. E better if you involve the partner, because sometimes uh, when this happens once, and it's not, nothing major, the yeah. just, just the, the scenario, the, the, the fear for performance, creates a vicious cycle that makes uh, the patient very vulnerable and could potentially have a similar problem if this is not uh, addressed. Second, if this is persistent, more reason to look for and talk to your primary care physician. Primary care physician will evaluate simple things like your, your sugars, your uh, in blood, your, your high blood pressure, see if the medication that you're taking are adequate or not. And then fine tune if that uh, alone didn't resolve the issue. Sometimes the specialist needs to be involved. And what we do as a specialist, we look into things that are a, a potentially trigger factor for this. We do some tests to see how the blood flow to the penis is, and how, how it is more psychological or Do you do that in the initial evaluation, or does the patient it, 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 typically come back the, for the that? The most important is the history and physical. So okay. it, it will give us a lot of clues to how we can track the evaluation and potential treatment. And for treatment, treatment are very effective. Once you find the cause, once you, there's staged uh, uh, approach treatments that actually most of the time we can get an adequate erection. Uh, from a very simple medication orally uh, to injections to vacuum to I implants you know there's a lot of things that we can do uh, usually on a step stepwise approach and actually it's very successful well, we see uh, all the commercials in the magazine ads for the for the different pills for this correct. and that is that part of that what you incorporate uh, not, into not this not necessarily because no? a lot of these things that you see on online yeah. or or on, on magazines they are just a, a mixture of different components oh, of uh, okay. uh, uh, tablets, roots, uh, and sometimes they are not standardized. We don't know exactly what it is in those medications. Sometimes uh, we recommend not to take them unless we, ho we know the w what the components are. I have patients that bring this to my office. I look at it. Nothing says what is inside the capsule. So I will be very hesitant to recommend that to a patient. And I've seen patients that bought stuff online and they use them and they had problems afterwards. So be, be careful. Not everything that you know, looks good is good. You need to have do a little research and at least know what the components of this is. Just call call them the 800 number that you can look into into when you're considering buying something and, and find out what is uh, inside those capsules. The problem with this is that not being FDA approved, most of them might not have the same concentration in capsule one or capsule capsule ten. So you might be taking a sugar pill afterwards. You know, so yeah. it's very very uh, cumbersome. So it's better not to buy this, or unless you have, you know, it's at a reputable place, or you know what is in the tablets, yeah. and you need to trust them that they put the same on each tablet. So it's it's, it's complicated. It, it is complicated, and it's something that uh, that that if this is something you want to talk about, would want to sit down with uh, with Alejandro. What is important is talk talk to somebody, involve your partner, 
uh, usually that's uh, the recipe for success. Good advice. Good advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Alejandro Miranda Sosa. Glad to have you here again. Thank you. Always fascinating. Always uh, good news for your health. Absolutely. If you have any questions for him or about Gulfstream Urology or 21st Century Oncology, go to our website. That's Fox for Morning Blend.